Good morning everyone, today back button focus versus half press. Which team do you belong to? Let's go! Alright guys, uh, welcome to a new episode and happy holidays. I hope you had a blast for Christmas and you're all ready to shoot again. Guys, I know, I know, I know, on the most popular video, the seven secrets to taking sharp photos for the rest of your life, uh, I know that's a pretty cool title, uh, you guys let me know that I forgot to mention something very, very important, which is back button focusing. And there was a very simple answer that I gave you in the comments and it's simply that I never used it because I didn't like it when I tried it. Which means, after seeing all those comments, I thought, oh, you know what? There must be something behind it. How come so many of you are suggesting I use it? Well, today I'm gonna challenge myself to actually use only back button focusing the whole day and I'm gonna share my experience with you and what I feel, how I feel about it and if I like it or not. But first, before we get started, I want to explain to those of you who don't know what back button focus is, what it is. Let's go. All right. So guys, there is something to know and there are two methods you can use to focus in life and with your camera. <laughs> Pretty cool. There is the first method which is a classic one which is half pressing. You see that little button which is your uh, shutter release button? Well, when you half press it, you actually go in beep beep mode and when you hear beep beep most of the time it means you're focused and when you press it fully, then you take a photo, which is the way everyone uses a camera. But, but, there is also another method, which is called the back button focusing. And back button focusing, as its name indicates, is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's, there is a back button to focus. So, <laughs> the back button is, for example, here on your camera, you set it as the button you're gonna press to focus and then uh, instead of having a half press here your half press does nothing at all so it means you're gonna have to hammer the shutter fully every time you want to take a photo so for example you would be pressing at the back and then pressing that shutter that is back button focusing now you might be wondering well pierre why would i use two buttons when i can use only one very good question guys very very good question the bbf team claims that it is actually faster and you can also combine EFS and EFC in one method, which sounds very appealing to me on paper. Now here are two situations where PBF can be really cool. For example, you're shooting portrait normally and then you shoot an action in the same sequence. You, you go from AFS to AFC and you're struggling to change mode. You're like, oh my God, yeah, it's a little bit annoying and you might have missed the shot of that action moving towards you. You know, that person or that animal, whatever it is. With BBF, you would have the ability to leave your camera in AFC all the time and only activate it when you fully press your back button. It means that you don't have to change mode. You always stay in AFC, you hammer the button when you want to be in continuous focus and you click it. If you want to be in AFS, you just press once and then you press it. Second advantage, and this is something I use a lot, it's called Focus Recompose. Made a video on that, you can check it out. Uh, basically, you don't have to worry about Focus Recomposing where you have to half press, lock it and then recompose. No, nope. you press once, you release and then you can recompose however you want as long as you want, as long as your subject is not coming closer to you. It's really cool. Uh, it actually removes a button even law or something to think about when you recompose. Great on paper. Now, personally, I knew about it in the past but I never used it because it felt a little bit clumsy. I didn't like it on my previous camera. So for you guys and only for you, today I'm gonna join the BBF team and I'm gonna put it to test in the streets of Chicago. And as you may see, it looks terrible right now outside, but it's okay because I've got my expedition jacket with my expedition bag, so let's get started.
All right, guys, conclusion right now. I mean, that's halfway. First, I really need gloves, photography gloves, because I'm freezing. So if you have recommendations of like cool brands, let me know in the comments. Also, I want to say I've been shooting, so in back focus mode. And you know what? I kind of like it. I actually kind of really like it. There is something I really love is that uh, what everyone talks about is being able to switch from out of focus continuous to single super quickly but also having the focus kind of manual where you don't really need to do focus recompose and hold the button anymore you can actually back button focus once don't touch it and then recompose however you want i think it's a great advantage i will try it a little bit more i think over the whole week simply because there were points i kind of missed a few shots because the well the, the focus went kind of crazy because i forgot to press it so i I, I misfired a few focus shots, but I gotta say it's so far I've been really really impressed. It's a very good technique to use. It's a great technique to use and just want to say I love that area in, uh, in Chicago. Beautiful with the train if you've never been here with the train tracks crossing in the air the, the streets really love it it's it's cold so my face is a little bit freezing for speaking so just give me a sec it's funny because i need to do a few mouth exercises just to bring it back to work properly with the with the cold but yeah i really like it i did miss a few shots and i think it might be a little bit less fast than shooting with a half press because when you half press imagine there is something happening you just grab your camera and you hammer the shutter button it's gonna work you're gonna have focus but with the back button you might have missed the shot so i will experiment and depending on my findings and how i like it over the weeks uh, i think i will adopt it or i will reject it but Right now, really love it. So thanks for all the recommendation, guys. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend you to try it. If you don't know how to do it, you can do a little Google on your camera model, how to back button focus, the uh, settings for back button focus on, I don't know, Canon, Nikon, Sony, whatever it is. With that being said, guys, I hope you are having a great Christmas. I hope uh, you are enjoying some time with your family and you're preparing the New Year's as uh, you should. Wow, it's really loud. Look at that. I love this train. It looks so, so cool. The best thing, in my opinion, being shooting under the train tracks. Looks great. With that being said, guys, I'm going to wish you happy uh, holidays, happy end of the year, all that. Uh, I hope you plan your resolution for 2019, what you're going to be focusing on. Check out the other video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but really, really take uh, that opportunity to set yourself right for 2019 and enjoy your time with the people you love. I will see you in the next episode. Remember, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Make sure you hit the SUBC button, ring that notification bell. It's going to make a huge tongue. It's going to be awesome. I'm making those videos all around the world. I'm a travel adventure photographer, so I'm sure you, I mean, you, you have to subscribe. It's, it's just awesome awesome adventures together guys with that being said i will talk to you in the next episode get out there go shoot try something different try something new bye good morning everyone wow i can't see anything good morning everyone today we're talking about the war between back button photos 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 Guys, 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 I just finished editing the video and I realized I hit 40,000 subscribers. So I wanted to thank each and every one of you. I know you guys are behind the keyboards. I know you guys are behind your phones watching all that. Thank you so, so much for the support. And if you ever have any suggestion of cool videos, what stuff you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And also make sure you hit up the podcast because uh, I think it's another way also for us to discuss in a different uh, manner basically it's a little bit longer I do a lot of interview with other photographers other creators and I think there is a lot of value for you guys also over there and you can listen when you're on your way to work or when you're cooking when you're bored at work also that that works and can be discreet <laughs> anyway no yes I, I used to do that anyways guys big thank you again and really rock the end of 2018 and start the 2000 19 and start the year 2019 really fresh and ready it's gonna be awesome at least on this channel we're gonna create awesome things together see you guys bye